Chapter 9, A Midsummer Incident. Wilkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Wilkin. You got called in too, Faldio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. What? But why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? They say that House Rangrees, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Well, yeah, I guess. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Rangrees tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah, so much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. I hope they don't mess this up. Sorry to keep you, Captain. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you all look nice. Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Gallia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Gallia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline, and my heart is a repository of justice. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful, 
and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. <laughs> they just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire and rid the world of their threat. And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. All of Europa? Well, there's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Faldio? Huh. I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh! Princess Cordelia! I... I'm so terribly sorry. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. <sighs> Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. The protection of Gallia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Your Highness. Do you copy? It's me. The Mark is alone. Now is our chance. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Welkin. Good night, Captain. Wait! Hold it, Verat! Verat! Terrible news! General Damon, what's the problem? Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? It can't be! Yes! It was that Federation ambassador. He was a spy all along. So the Federation takes her under their protection and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. So get on it! Verat, you've got to get her back! Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. Hey, Casey, what is that thing? It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW-1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris? Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. 
Are you building this airplane, Isara? Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a Transgallian tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Oh, that's real sweet. Hey, Sara, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. What? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come on. You don't mind? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right! That's... that's the emergency siren. What's happening at this hour? Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. Your mission is to rescue Her Highness unharmed. Failure isn't an option on this one, soldiers. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad 7, move out. To the harbor, full steam. The ship's waiting there to take us out of Gallia. Apologies for the cramped quarters, your highness. We'll have you comfortable soon. <sighs> Lieutenant, it's likely the ambassador has the princess with him inside that armored vehicle. Use firearms to stop it with minimal force, then recover the princess. Don't lose them. Tank shells, anti-tank lances, and grenades are off-limits. You could harm the princess. Understood, Captain. Welks, even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah, on a narrow road like this, there's no room to slip past a tank in your way. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the princess back safe. <laughs> Welks, do you see the vehicle's headlights? You're right. We can use those lights to tell its position and orientation. Ah, it's going that way! Don't lose it! It's too dark. I can't see anything. Just leave it to me. Let's 
do this thing. I'm on my way now! I did it! Who are these guys? Entering combat! On a move now. I've got good eyes. Don't leave cover without good reason. Under minor fire. Mr. Ambassador, Allied unit. Just leave it to me. Enemy spotted! Just leave it to me! Let's 
do this thing. Medic! Please stay strong! I'm on my way! Work your magic, you hear me? Squad leaders, report your status. You're wide open! Dodging me. Hush! You're wide open! I'm on it. Hush! Let's do this! Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there. Your highness, are you all right? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Can it, Rosie? That's the Princess of Gallia you're talking to. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As scion of the Valkyrer, it is my fate to live and die for Gallia's well-being. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can just to live that one day longer. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. <sighs> Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say, and I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y your Highness. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. But time enough remains to consider my role by my own will. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Not at all. Wow, even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Here you are, Your Highness. Thank you kindly. I have not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. All right, let's get Her Highness back to the capital. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. 
Lieutenant Welkin Gantha, step forward. Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Your Highness. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gantha, you forget yourself. Sir, my apologies. With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Galia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. Lieutenant Gunther, I am sorry. There is something more I have not told you. Please, be safe. Sure, it's open. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. But why suppress it? If word got out about what happened, Galia's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. Welkin, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Galia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong, its history and its nature. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. 